Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to live home in the community, Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, and Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Abel on Air has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists. Welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that uh, expresses the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I've always been your host, Lauren Seiler. Arlene Seiler. And on this uh, show today, this edition of Ableton On Air, before we get to the issues at hand and the uh, news concerning the mentally challenged community or mentally ill community, men uh, you know, mentally challenged community, uh, let us uh, thank our sponsors, Washington County uh, Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many others, including the uh, the uh, partnership, including the partnership with the um, the Association for the Blind Vermont and the Division for the Blind Vermont, and many, many, many others. Um, so let us begin uh, by saying there has been a lot of news this edition today. There has been a lot of news with the mentally challenged, people that are mentally challenged, uh, the community at large concerning uh, services. So uh, so let us begin. Um, Mayor Eric Adams in New York City, Mayor Eric Adams in New York City, announces a plan as of yesterday, uh, yesterday uh, being uh, Tuesday, um, Mayor Eric Adams announces a plan to provide care for individuals suffering from untreated severe mental illness across New York City. This is dated November 29, 2022, according to the website www.newyorkcity.gov forward slash office of the mayor. Uh, so uh, let me explain. So let us explain. Mayor Eric Adams announces to provide care for individuals suffering from untreated severe mental illness across New York City. Um, Mayor Eric Adams, uh, his directive <clears throat> is clarifying the responsibility to provide care um, when SMI, meaning severe mental illness, uh, prevents someone from meeting their basic needs. Mayor Eric announces an 11-point mental health legislative plan, 11-point legislative plan agenda for, upcoming, for the upcoming session in Albany. New York City to launch the 
at the, cons the consult line to provide first responders in the field with direct access to clinicians. New York City Eric, Mayor Eric Adams announces or yesterday or this week announced a new pathway forward <clears throat> to address the ongoing crisis to individuals experiencing severe mental illnesses and, uh, left untreated and unsheltered in New York City streets and subways. In a public address, Mayor Eric Adams detailed the compassionate new vision to tackle this crisis, beginning <clears throat> with a directive being used immediately to city agencies and contractors involved in evaluating <clears throat> evaluating uh, and providing care for individuals in psychiatric crisis so that more people in need of help can receive it. Mayor Eric Adams also laid out an 11-point legislative agenda among his, type, his top priorities in Albany during the up upcoming legislative se session. This agenda will take aim at gaps in New York State mental hygiene, the mental, uh, in New York State's mental hygiene law that uh, intensifies the city's challenges in meeting the needs of, our, our, of their most vulnerable residents with severe mental illness. Finally, Mayor Eric Adams announced a new clinical co-responsive uh, team deployed in New York City subways in response to those with serious mental health issues as well as enhanced training and partnerships with New York State uh, and first responders to compassionately care for those in, uh, in crisis. Uh, in, accordance, in accordance with state law and court precedent, Mayor Eric Adams' directive clarifies that outreach workers, city operated hospitals, and first responders have a legal authority to provide care for New, York city, for New, for New Yorkers with severe mental illness and prevents them, that prevents them from meeting their own basic human needs. Um, uh, to an extent that they are a danger to themselves. Um, they uh, deal with bodily waste in the subways, etc. Um, according to this uh, directive issued by Mayor Adams, seeks to dispel the per persistent myth that the legal standard of involuntary intervention requires an overt act demonstrating that Persons with um, violent, suicidal, <clears throat> or engaging in outrageously dangerous behavior is likely to result in imminent harm. Mayor, Mayor, Eric, uh, Mayor Eric Adams also announced in this plan that the city is developing a tele-consult tele line to provide police officers in the field with direct access to clinicians, the new teleconsult line will provide um, critical clinical advice to police officers when dealing with individuals with distress and ensure compassionate uh, response for those suffering um, with untreated serious mental illness. The measures will include making the law expl uh, explicit that a person that requires care that their mental illness prevents them from meeting their own basic needs, mandating that hospitals, clinicians, and clinicians consider a range of factors when accessing a patient's need for involuntary admission and retention uh, and known treatment history, uh, Current ability to adhere to well, outpatient treatment. Before I continue, you want to say anything on it? Go ahead. Yeah, I want to say that it's good because, oh, you can't, you can't leave them on the street. They're going to miss somebody. 
Yeah, there's a lot of hitting and pushing in the trains, especially. Mm -hmm. uh, this something is happening because they do it. That's what happened. This uh, plan also is requiring hospitals to screen all psychiatric patients uh, prior to discharge and need to receive a, um, uh, assisted outpatient, out, outpatient treatment, court-appointed care under Kendra's law, allowing a broader range of mental health professionals to perform evaluations and uh, and community removals to individuals in in crisis, and requiring hospitals to uh, notify known community providers and clients that are admitted, um, you know, release and and collaborate with community providers preparing patients for discharge, um, and this is. This is according to also Deputy Mayor for Health and Human Services, Ann Williamson. Um, um, you know, um, we need to provide more. This goes across the board. Um, we need to really provide more services for people with mental uh, uh, challenges and um, mental illness. Um, go ahead, you want to say anything? Well, yeah, because they they should they should get the thing because otherwise it's gonna get worse. And what if they you know, what if they get worse, what if they get do something violent or they get uh, you know, really, really violent and that's what it has to do with, you know? Okay, now let's get to um, the issue in uh, Virginia. Recently, a uh, couple days back, um, hold on, let's let's get rid of that. Um, recently, a, a couple days back, there was a, a incident at Walmart um, that happened uh, where six people had died, including the shooter. So that makes uh, seven. So. Uh, according to The Guardian, www.guardian.com forward slash um, world, according to what had happened, um, so, you know, let's go back to Chesapeake, Virginia, where um, several people um, had gone into a break room of uh, Walmart, with, you know, where they were working at, in Walmart and... Um, they had closed down the Walmart because one of the managers just, you know, you, you used an assault rifle to um, basically uh, uh, kill and murder um, several uh, people working in that Walmart. And according to the according to the Guardian, uh, survivors of Walmart or shoot, mass shooting are now uh, filing in. in Virginia, they're filing a $50 million lawsuit. Um, the, um, couple of, a couple of survivors said that the company should have acted on the shooter's pattern of disturbing behavior uh, in the Virginia store. So now, according to The Guardian, uh, there is a lawsuit being filed in, in a Virginia court. Um, uh, anything to say about the Walmart incident? Yeah, they should have known that time before. You know, the manager had mental illness, so known. Mm -hmm. So, if you pick up on it, they don't pick up on it, they'll be seen uh, According to the Guardian, a Walmart employee uh, who was injured in a mass shooting in, in the Virginia store uh, last week, this happened last week, had filed a a uh, $50 million lawsuit against the company alleging that the government exhibited threatening behavior months before he was killed. Uh, you know, we've had several politicians on um, Ableton on there, and all of them say that, um, you know, gun laws are going to be uh, changed and um, more stringent. Um, you know, hopefully that does happen. Um, According to the Guardian, um, 
Got, according to the Guardian newspaper here, uh, Dania uh, uh, Paleo, an uh, employee of the Walmart in Chesapeake, Virginia, said that the lawsuit filed on um, last Thursday said that the um, store should have been more aware of the problems of Andre Bing. Andre Bing was uh, the gentleman who... Uh, who, who co committed this heinous act. Um, Andre Bing's behavior, given numerous reports, including a formal complaint filed by P P Palau on the 10th of September, um, NBC reported. Um, in the complaint, um, uh, employees of this Walmart said that Bing made bizarre and inappropriate comments uh, about uh, people, you know, people working in the Walmart. Other employees have filed complaints reporting of bullying, harassment, and other threats. Um, the uh, person uh, named being allegedly <clears throat> told that employees would retaliate uh, and fire everybody. Um, upon information and belief, Mr. Bing had a personal vendetta against several Walmart employees and kept a, um, a kill list, which is a bad thing, of potential targets prior to the shooting. At one point, <clears throat> the gunman was demoted uh, from his Walmart job for improper and disturbing interactions from co-workers. And the lawsuit says only to be reinstated as a team leader. Last Tuesday, the government entered Walmart, the Walmart store and began shooting colleagues uh, from the break room. The government shot himself uh, and um, killed himself, police say. Um, now, we, I'm going to make a couple of comments here. Um, we need to uh, band together as advocates as well as, you know, inform people who are dealing with uh, gun legislation. Uh, according to the White House, um, go, uh, the um, current president, uh, Joe Biden, has said that he is going to um, take assault weapons um, off our streets. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to see what it says about that. Um, according to uh, President Joe Biden um, um, and the Epoch Times, um, the Epoch, uh, let's, let's uh, go to this one second. Um, President, President Biden has said that he is going to uh, get rid of assault weapons. Anything you want to say about that? No, I like to see that because, you know, I like to see him assault weapons. Okay, can you, can you say that? Wait, say that again? I want to see to believe. I want to see when it's taken off. I want to see the assault when it's taken away so the gun in your hand is to be Okay. Also, according to Fox News, Senator Chris Murphy um, hopes that Biden hope, hopes that Biden will get rid of assault weapons. And um, as a matter of fact, let's let's go to the real website here. Ah, uh, here we go. Um, Murphy says that the Senate does not have 60 votes to pass assault weapon ban. Um, Senator Chris Murphy of Connecticut, a leading advocate in gun control, says that the Senate expressed doubt um, this past Sunday that an assault weapons ban uh, once again is being pushed by President Biden. And after the country's last shooting, um, 
It could pass in the upper chamber. Biden says they're going to try to get rid of assault weapons during the, uh, they call it the lame duck session of Congress this year. Following a recent string of mass shootings, such as the proposal, uh, the, the proposal would need 10 Republican votes to break the legislative filibuster, assuming the Senate Majority Leader Charles Schumer of New York uh, can get all 50 Democrats to support this legislation. Uh, but Murphy said probably not. According to the uh, CNN State of the Union, um, or State of the Union address, um, but let's see where it goes. Democrats have maintained their razor, <clears throat> their razor thin majority in the Senate for the upcoming term, and net and and according to the Hill, the next month's runoff in Georgia will give the party a chance to gain a seat uh, to get rid of, and um, they need to get rid of assault weapons. If you look at some of the most most high 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 profile mass shootings um, in the last couple of in the last couple of years, uh, those mass shooters brought weapons just days before carrying out the crime. And that's exactly what happened uh, with the Walmart incident in Chesapeake, Virginia. Um, the gentleman, Mr. Bing, had bought the assault rifle uh, days before the shooting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Look at the shooting in Colorado, how horrible that is. Um, I'm getting to that. Uh, the weapon just day, days before the shooting and the crime, um, Murphy told CNN. And if those weapons were no longer commercially available, only in possession of those who had bought them previously, I um, they think the mass shootings would have been prevented. Authority said in Colorado Springs, now I'm getting to that right now, uh, the Colorado Springs suspect uh, used an assault-style rifle when they killed five people uh, and injured dozens of others. The Chesapeake suspect used a handgun last week in last week's shooting, official said, uh, but legally purchased the weapon hours uh, before it happened. If you pass the assault weapon ban, you're not going to magically eliminate mass shootings in this country. Uh, Murphy said, uh, um, true that an AR-15 or an AR-15 uh, style weapon is generally the choice of mass shooters. Um, so, so I'm going to explain um, to our viewers what an AR-15 um, rifle is. Let me go to Wikipedia here. Um, yeah, no, it talks about the gun. Uh, the AR-15 style uh, rifle um, it basically, let me go here to another page because it's not letting me. Hold on one second. Oh yeah, uh, so it's called an, an, an Armor Light 15. Um, no, I don't want to give to Wikipedia here. Hold on. It's not letting me because it's saying that we have to give to Wikipedia. Oh, forget it. Yeah. Um, so let, <laughs> let's go. Okay. So basically an AR-15 uh, is a rifle. Let me go here. Yeah, there we go. There's several... Uh, there's several types of AR-15s. The, the Colt AR-15 is a lightweight magazine-fed, uh, um, gas-operated semi-automatic rifle. It, 
It is a semi-automatic version of the M16 rifle sold uh, for the civilian and law enforcement markets in the United States. Cope Manufactured Company currently owns the AR-15 trademark, which um, is exclusively exclusively for the uh, the line of semi-automatic AR-15 rifles. Um, so the history of the gun is as follows. Due to financial problems, the limitations in proper manpower and production capacity, the Amalite uh, sold AR-15 design and the AR-15 trademark along with the um, Colt Manufacturing Company in 1959. Um, so basically, um, it's a U.S. patent gun um, uh, that um, shoots bullets really uh, fast. The upper, um, so it can shoot many bullets at any one time and has a, a sight uh, to the gun. Um, and you can put a muzzle device, um, you know, to do what you need to do. Um, but these guns um, need to be taken off our streets. Um, there have been many mass shootings with this uh, assault rifle, For, um, starting with April 28th to, and 29th in 1996. So April 28th and 29th in 1996, Martin Bryant, was, um, Martin Bryant killed 35 and injured 23 um, in the Port Arthur mass, uh, Massacre with an AR-15 and a 308 uh, lightweight gun. Uh, it was the worst mass shooting in modern Australian history um, that resulted uh, in the 1996 National Firearms Agreement. So uh, according to the National Firearms Agreement, um, also called the National Agreement on Firearms or the National Firearms Agreement, uh, mean it's a buyback program. If uh, sometimes uh, police agencies have these buyback programs, if if you own a gun and you want to bring it to the police uh, station, they'll give you money for it. Um, that's what happens in most uh, jurisdictions uh, with police officers. Now, uh, they'll give you money for your gun to take the guns off the street. Um, now, according to the agreement of the National Firearm Agreement, it has several um, uh, several provisions, and um, it it has taken about six hundred fifty thousand firearms off our streets um, in recent years. Um, and do you want to say about that as well? Well, I want to say that we seven hundred in in uh, Colorado. Say, say that again. At least the other hundred of the suspects in Colorado got them. They got them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, now these recent shootings, uh, we have a couple of minutes left. Um, these recent shootings, um, her, you know, um, we just really need to take better care of our mentally ill in any state or men mentally challenged. Uh, individuals, uh, whether it be New York, whether it be Vermont, whether it be New England, or any state you live in. If you know anybody here in Washington County that uh, really needs um, severe mental health counseling, please contact Washington County Mental Health at www wcmhs.org. Again, if you need severe mental health counseling of any sort, please contact Washington County Mental Health at www.wcmhs.org. Um, this puts an end to this edition of Able Den on Air. Let's thank our sponsors, Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many others, um, including the partnership 
of um, uh, including a partnership of uh, Division for the Blind Vermont or the Association for the Blind Vermont. Um, if you uh, come in contact with someone who is mentally challenged, please try to um, get them the help they need. And if you don't know how to um, help them, please um, get them the services or get them to the services that they need. Again, if you need to contact Washington County Mental Health, go to www.wcmhs.org. And <clears throat> Ableton on Air, uh, at Ableton on Air, we pray for the families of the, uh, of the Virginia um, uh, the Virginia uh, event um, at Walmart that recently happened, and also in Colorado, uh, we pray for those families. Again, uh, I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time. Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to live home in the community, Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press, Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, and Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx, Abel Air has been seen in the following publications, Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England Chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists.